conflict in Ukraine creating ripple effects across global markets, including for local farmers. Yet another challenge for a job that already involves uncertainty on a daily basis. 25 News reporter Garrett Hoddle joins us now live in studio. Garrett, can you tell us more about the impact that this conflict is having? Well, I think right now you can say uncertainty. You mentioned it there, mm. at least in the markets, and that's going to lead to volatility. I did speak with the McLennan County Ag Extension Office and the Texas Farm Bureau about not just those challenges for Texas farmers, but also the problems farmers are facing at home and what opportunities could be on the horizon. Perhaps it's the only job where the only constant is change and the only certainty as well, uncertainty, farming. It's always a challenge, farming in Central Texas. What type of challenge? That seems to change by the day. Dr. Shane McClellan with the Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Service knows them well. Right now he says McLennan County farmers are planting corn and grain sorghum. Corn really is our biggest crop in the county. We'll have 50 to 60,000 acres of, of corn and anywhere from 10 to 13,000 acres of, of grain sorghum. But weather related challenges persist for multiple crops. Setbacks seem to stack up from the ground. As far as planting corn and grain sorghum, ground temperatures have just been too cool. To the sky. We can't get a rain to grow wheat. You know, our, our wheat's struggling right now. And right now farmers aren't just seeing challenge or change outside their front door. It's on the TV screen on the other side of the globe. Ripple effects on Texas agriculture markets stemming from the ensuing conflict in Ukraine. Uh, Ukraine and Russia together account for about 30% of the world's wheat exports and then about 20% combined of the world's corn exports. Brant Wilborn of Texas Farm Bureau says since the first day of the conflict, commodity markets saw a dramatic increase. I think wheat's risen maybe 50% and then uh, corn's risen about uh, 15. An increase in commodity price also means higher input costs for farmers here at home. I heard a gentleman say that fear, ego, and greed will push the markets. We always talk about supply and demand, but fear, ego, and greed are all going on right now. A concern before the conflict over rising prices from fertilizer. Oh, fertilizer prices have, have really gone through the roof this past year. Anywhere from 150 to 200 percent increases, depending on the type of fertilizer utilized by the producer. To the more recent concern over the spike in price for fuel preside, and as the conflict continues, Wilburn says for now, uncertainty has led to market volatility. Predicting a future isn't easy. That's tough to say because there's there's a lot of factors. But if history is any indication, looking at the Texas farmer today, McClellan says you'll see they change as the world does. Um, now they're, they're walking technical experts about seed, about fertilizer, about fuel. Uh, efficiency is the key. You minimize costs, try to take advantage of any kind of gains they can, can make. And it's probably worth mentioning that despite the higher commodity prices or higher prices we're seeing at the grocery store, that's not necessarily transferring to the farmer. They're feeling the pinch from inflation just like we all are. Back to you guys. All right, Gary.